Hi, this is D. Doing a reading for Wednesday, July 8th. Also known as Day 19, Age of Aquarius. So let me adjust a little. And we'll get started. I did meditate prior. Um, all I did was go astral. Um, it was very fascinating, but nothing really to share. So, I'll see if there's any um, messages coming from them during the reading, perhaps. So, Wednesday, July 8, 2020. Day 19, Age of Aquarius. major arcana so far. The priestess and the angel. Highest priority. Gotta make sure you guys can see these. I'm gonna have to angle this down a little more. What do we need to be mindful of and prepare for? not to fear that word. It's simply bringing what's been hidden to light. It's exactly what we're doing. All right. <clears throat> so the underlying energy, the defector, eight of chalices. This is the spirit of abandoned success. The defector is the spirit's personification of abandoning one path to walk a contrasting and entirely different one. This is walking away from what you have otherwise devoted a great deal of effort to and not looking back. 
This is a spiritual quest for that which will be more emotionally fulfilling. The five chalices stacked on the ground symbolize the material work that the defector leaves behind. The three hovering above symbolize the beliefs and, I the, and ideologies the defector now abandons. When the eight of chalices appears, you are at the foot of a steep mountain, about to embark onto challenging yet personally fulfilling terrain. Wisdom will be attained, and the path of that mountain is the path toward achieving your great work, toward fulfilling your life purpose. The scarlet ibis, with wings outstretched flying overhead, is the material manifestation of a guardian deity who will be overseeing your difficult journeying ahead. The defector is the guardian spirit guiding you to abandon illusionary success and to scale new heights in a different direction. This is the start of a difficult journey, but a journey that will take you where you want to be. And I know specifically what this card's saying to me. Because it's all about this. The apocalypse. Bringing what was hidden, once hidden, to light. Overall energy of tomorrow, key seven, major arcana, the chariot. This is the card of cancer, chariot of Osiris. Notice two sphinxes. These are outside of the temple at Mount Moriah, where they guided me. Key seven, the chariot. The chariot is the spirit that helps you create change. You have attained a certain mastery of, of knowledge, and now you must determine how you will use that knowledge to innovate. The chariot is an omen that you're gaining momentum. You possess mastery of knowledge and skills that now drive you further along your path. When the chariot card appears, you have arrived at a critical milestone and are in active movement toward victory. Success will come to the one who refuses to stop fighting. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Don't stop. Luxet Veritas. Highest priority, two major arcana. First up, two, the priestess, sanctuary of Isis. Here we have Osiris. Now we have Isis. We have the two sphinxes, right? These are outside of the temple at Mount Moriah. And the two pillars are right behind them. And there is a pyramid on the top of that temple. Wow, I'm kind of blown away. All right, Q2. This is Sophia, or wisdom personified. She guides you toward the deepening and broadening of your knowledge. Aspire for scholarship to wield the power of discernment. The priestess is the queen of the angels. When the priestess appears to you, she instructs on the cultivation of your wisdom and intuition. The summation of your choices you have made and the landscape of thoughts you have painted for yourself have taken you to the threshold of a particular path. And now is the time to venture deeper, farther. Here is the wellspring of magic. I know exactly what this is talking about. I haven't shared yet what I'm up to, but these are some hints. 14. The Angel, a divine higher genius. 
the genius of the Hopi prophecy is Aquarius. Hint, hint. <laughs> Sag rising. 14, the angel. Fascinating. You add these cards up, it's a seven. You add this up, it's a seven. Right? Fascinating. The angel, key 14. This is where it gets better. Mutatis mutandis. The necessary changes have been made. When the angel appears to you, it is an omen that troubles are passing, pain subsiding, and that you are growing closer to God. The angel is your patron deity. Genius in Greco-Roman lore is one's tutelary deity or a garden, guardian spirit that protects an individual person. This is your daemon from your cradle to your grave, the realization of an inner divine. Circumstances in your life path have converged and a work of personal inspiration becomes your productivity. You realize your innate talents and bring into material being that which is extraordinary. This is the primordial spirit of exceptionalism. Genius hits a target no one else can see. When the angel appears to you, take a moment to intuit the pulses of energy in the space around you. Can you feel the presence of the daemon? Do you know that you are watched over and looked after? I certainly do. Your angel is not at liberty to prevent every turn of suffering in your life, required to stand by and watch you suffer the slings of your own fortunes, enduring the penance of your own mistakes. Know that every time your angel is authorized to divert harm away from you, harm has been diverted. has the cups of hope and faith. I believe this is also known as the temperance card. Nice. Probably can hear the lawnmower and all this mowing. <laughs> sacred fire. This is the fire I have inside of me and the fire you all have too. Spark of divinity. Indeed. Ace of scepters, the awakening. Mm -hmm. A switch inside you has turned on your creativity, productivity, and ingenuity. Fire is alchemizing in your world, materializing as a creative project, an innovative new venture, entrepreneurship, or the spark of inspiration for a passion project. This is also a new direction in career development. This is the awakening stage of your path. Yeah. Looks like a big day tomorrow for you all. And for me as well. I know what they're telling me here. They're kind of giving away secrets about what I am up to, somewhat. But I've been, I've been driving my chariot forward, seeking answers. Torah. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is a redirection and path because of some enlightenment going on. I know that is definitely the case for me. Driving yourself forward, using the energy of the angel and the priestess. Because you got a sacred fire inside and it's a brand new beginning 
because you're walking away from a particular path and seek of another in search of the Holy Grail. Pretty profound reading. Interesting. Seven, seven. Hmm. 771 771 hmm. I might need to write that down Anyway, hope you have an absolutely fantastic Wednesday Day 19, Age of Aquarius Remember, you guys should be celebrating Big things ahead, really grand things I'm positive. Take care.